Rosie here from rosiepena.com, a fashion, sewing, and lifestyle blog. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here. So it's been a while since I've done one of these sit down videos showing you all the things that I've made recently. So I definitely thought it was time to go ahead and sit down and show you guys all the things that I've been sewing lately. As you guys might have noticed, I've been posting several Sewing with Rosie videos, which are sew along tutorials for beginners or for anybody who just likes to watch people sew. I know I love to sit down and watch other sewing videos. I'm so glad that you guys are learning new things. And then also, of course, if you're more of an advanced seamstress, um, it's always fun to just kind of see other people sew, see their techniques. Everybody has kind of their own little groove that they like to get into as they sew. So it's always fun to watch people sew. So a lot of the things that I have to show you in today's video are actually things that I have been sewing in the Sewing with Rosie episode. So when I show you these garments, I will definitely link an iCard above um, in case you guys want to see these patterns in action um, and sew along those patterns with me. So I'll definitely link those in the iCards above. Um, but again, thank you so much for all the love and support. I'm glad you guys are learning something new with those Sewing with Rosie episodes. I wanted to go ahead and start off with what I'm wearing today. You guys can't really see it too well, but um, I will insert a picture of this. I don't have blog photos, but I do have a picture of it on a mannequin so you can see it a lot better. But this pattern that I'm wearing is McCall's 7812 and I made view A which is the longer version It has like this really cool ruching along the center front. It's a really gorgeous, simple, easy to sew pattern. Definitely recommend it. Again, that's McCall's 7812. Really fun pattern. The fabric that I used, um, I got it from, I believe it was fabric.com. If I can find it, I will link to it in the description bar below. So if there's something that I forgot to link in the description bar, it will definitely be in the blog post. So make sure you check the link for that or just visit rosypena.com for the latest blog post. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing. And the next thing that I wanna show you is actually the Calvin wrap dress and top from True Bias. Um, I really love her designs. A lot of the things that she has are very minimal and classic, really great statement pieces. So this is a Calvin wrap dress and top, um, and I did the dress version. And I'm gonna show you here on camera, but wrap dresses are really hard to kind of hang and show. So I'll definitely insert pictures of me wearing it. Um, I do have a full blog post of me in this dress um, with several pictures of the front and the back. But the main thing with this garment was definitely a lot of bias tape that you have to make. But if you have a day to just kind of spend to sew, um, you can just sit at the iron and do the bias tape. Um, it does have really long, as you can see, really long bias tape that it finishes the neckline on the back, it finishes the neckline on the front. Um, but I really love this. The fabric is obviously this animal print that I got from Joanne Fabric. Um, I'll try to link to some similar options. I could never really find the fabrics that I've used there. I'll definitely link to some other options. So this is a really sturdy kind of shawly type fabric, um, but it definitely didn't shift around on me that much. I think if I would have had a fabric that was kind of slippery, it definitely would have caused a lot of frustration with this pattern. I love the bias tape finish. I think it's a really great detail. Um, I really enjoyed sewing this one. So definitely just make sure if you sew this pattern, make sure you have kind of sturdy fabric so it won't slip around too much on you. I'll definitely probably sew another version of this. Um, probably in an all black. Again, I think this is a really great classic simple statement dress that you can just kind of sew up for the summertime. So the next thing that I want to show you is Simplicity 8513. It's this really fun bodysuit pattern from Simplicity Patterns. Um, it has several different bodysuit variations. There's um, it's jam-packed with different kinds of views. Um, they have a lace front, the one that I sewed, they have a mock wrap. They have a cold shoulder, they have a flare sleeve, and then they have a full turtleneck option. So several different options with this bodysuit. And the version that I made is actually version A, but I chose to do to add the bell sleeve. I mean, I'll insert some photos of this also because it's kind of hard to show you all the little details on camera. It's just a pretty simple bodysuit in the back. And then the front, it has this really cool lace-up front detail. And again, this is a Sewing with Rosie garment that I made, so I'll definitely link to that in an iCard above if you guys want to see um, this garment being made from start to finish. So that is Simplicity 8513. So the fabric that I chose for this is a rib knit, again from fabric.com. Um, I tend to get a lot of the fabrics that I get from there. Their shipping is pretty quick. Um, here you can kind of see the bell sleeve. So yeah, it's pretty much just a nice simple bodysuit that I can see made up and really fun prints or really just kind of simple, more laid back. Um, fabrics such as this. Alright you guys, so this next one is one that I am totally in love with. 
Um, this is McCall 7660 and um, it's this really fun kind of sweater, sweatshirt type of a garment but it's really kind of fashion forward. So I made view A which has this really cool kind of puff sleeve on the lower end of the garment. And I chose this really gorgeous rose colored fabric again from fabric.com. I'll have it linked in the description bar below for you. Um, and here's the sleeve detail. It was really fun to sew this one. Again, this is another Sewing with Rosie video. Um, so the shape of this lower sleeve is kind of like um, just a big tubular shape and then you kind of just have to ruffle it all into the sleeve cuff. So hopefully you guys can see that down here. But I just really love the kind of simpleness of the sweatshirt but then the really cool statement sleeve. Um, I think it's really great. Again, another nice classic pattern that I could see myself sewing again. And then it just has a nice simple um, collar to it as well. So that is McCall 7660. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see that actually on me. Um, but again, this is really simple and fun to sew. So the next pattern that I have to show you is Vogue 9264, which is this really fun kind of gown slash really kind of fun cocktail dress. I really love this one. Um, it says the close fitting dress has front and back princess seams and length of variation. So I ended up going with view A on the pattern, which is this shorter version here. And I chose this really cool crushed velvet royal blue color. Um, this is actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're kind of stepping up their game as far as fabric. They're getting a lot of more nice quality fabrics there, so I'm really enjoying that. Um, so again, this is a crushed velvet in this gorgeous royal blue color. Um, you can't tell too much, but there's these really cool princess seams along the front, and there's also the same style of seam on the back. It has the cool gathered shoulders and then just a nice kind of flare shape. The shape of it kind of reminds me of the Abbey dress. So if you guys have seen the Abbey dress, it kind of has that nice fit and flare silhouette, uh, which I love. I'm all for that. This one is actually the very first episode of Sewing with Rosie that I did. Um, so again, if you guys want to see this pattern in action, I'll link that for you um, in an iCard and you can see it from start to finish. So and then finally, the last two things that I want to show you are the new pattern release from Rosie Pena Patterns. I recently released the Felicity dress and top. You guys are loving it so far and I really appreciate it. So like I mentioned, I recently released the Felicity top and dress. Here she is. The dress version um, has a high low feature at the hem, mock wrap front, um, and then a really cool sleeve detail with these wrist ties and um, gathered shoulder seams and here she is. So this here is the dress version. Again, I will insert some pictures because you definitely can't see the full um, length of this but she does have a high low hem. So like I said, the front um, is a little bit shorter and then the back goes down to a nice rounded hem as well. Um, I really had so much fun designing this one. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more details than some of my other patterns have. So the shoulder seam has these really pretty gathers that kind of creates a little puff at the sleeve head. And then she also has these really cute little waist ties. She also has a flounce um, sleeve hem and then these really cool um, sleeve ties that are the same width as the waist ties. So it kind of ties into each other. Um, so I really had fun designing this one and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. Um, like I said, of course it means the world to me. And then um, there's actually a shirt version as well. So the shirt version obviously is just a lot shorter and then it also does have um, the same little waist tie bow. And if you guys have gotten this pattern and you're having trouble with the waist tie, just a center seam at the back of the waist tie you can tack that to the center seam um, at the back waistline. That'll kind of keep it in place and then of course at the side we have those little thread loops that keep it in place as well. The fun thing about this version is it has the shorter sleeve and it actually has a pedal sleeve. As you can see it kind of has this overlapping pedal in the front and then this um, pedal that goes to the back as well. Creates a really nice soft romantic feminine effect um, and she does also have that gathered um, sleeve head as well, but I really love this one. A lot of you guys really like the top version um, I guess because it's a little bit more wearable and a little bit more um, Just kind of everyday kind of a garment So the fabrics that you want to choose for this one are like a nice crepe um, any kind of medium weight Really drapey fabric you can use a silk you can use a Georgette and again That was the Felicity top and dress from Rosie Pena patterns. All right, you guys So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're into fashion and sewing. I really appreciate it Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys Bye.